Hey, hey. All right, BFIT Nation. Welcome back to the last Monday of the year. <laughs> Had to actually double check on that. Last Monday of 2020. I'm excited to have y'all join me, myself. I'm Roy Montes, the BFIT Ambassador. Uh, I'll let y'all, uh, everyone get settled in, um, grab your towels, grab your waters. I hope you're wearing some comfortable clothing because we are gonna get after it today, team. We have a good mixture of strength and uh, cardio-based movements that we're gonna tackle for today to round out the year nice and strong. But once again, uh, welcome to BFIT Live. Uh, Roy Montes here. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you are an existing viewer and an existing uh, BFIT uh, partner with us, welcome back. We have uh, a live workout that we are gonna go through today. We have four exercises that we're gonna complete. Each of those four exercises we will run through at 40 seconds of work for the timing, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds of those workouts. And in between each round, we will take a one minute break to catch our breath, to shake out, what we need to, uh, to hydrate, towel off, and then to mentally and physically prepare for the next round. So with that being said, uh, I'm, I'm uh, coming to you live from my at-home workout space. These programs are designed to not take up much room. So not much more than uh, six feet, seven feet or so is what I'm working with. Uh, I'm sure yourselves, I know you all have joined me before and are coming alive from your homes before or or outdoors so um I, it, it's awesome to see so these programs these uh, workouts are programmed uh, just for that where we can find room and and find just under 30 minutes of our time to focus on ourselves to focus on our health and wellness and to strengthen ourselves each and every week as we've gone on so um again let me know where you are watching from it's always nice to see uh, the amount of comments that we do receive and where everybody is coming in from. I hope you all have had a great holiday week. And I know this is a, not a, just a Monday, not just the last Monday of the year and coming off of a holiday week. So it's nice to uh, start the week off right, start the day off right with our, our morning BFIT lives. Um, let's see here. So with that, uh, I'll, I'll break down the, the program that we'll tackle today. We'll go into some dynamic stretching and then we'll kick off our workout. So today we have four exercises here. Again, cardio-based and resistance-based movements. We have a plyo lunge for our first exercises. I'll go through the demo here in a bit. A plyo lunge and or a static lunge with a pause. Now I'll break that down for us here uh, afterwards. Uh, a, our second exercise, we're jumping into a kneeling uh, shoulder press, single arm. Our third exercise will be a single leg and a single arm row. So we're gonna uh, alternate for 20 seconds, left arm, 20 seconds, right arm. And then for our first, fourth and final exercise, we are gonna target our core, our stability with shoulder taps. Now we can also include some V-ups. I'll show you some different movements that we can tackle throughout this exercise to kind of spice things up, mix things up, and uh, just give us an overall uh, full body workout from head to toe. So. Uh, welcome, settle in here. I'll go through the demos. That way there are no surprises that we know exactly, that way you know exactly what we are tackling today. And um, again, leave us some comments. Let us know how the past few months have gone for you. Uh, have you been joining us? Uh, have you been liking uh, these workouts? And, and if so, um, let us know what some of your favorite movements are. I tried to pick five movements here that these I'm about to demo that have kind of been my favorite personally throughout these past six, uh, six plus months or so uh, that we've been able to work out from home. And um, so these are a few, a few of my favorite mon uh, exercises and movements. So I've tried to kind of uh, pick a variety that we've gone through. So plyo lunge is up first. Plyo lunge is actually, it's just gonna be that split stance, wide split stance into our lunge movement here. Uh, plyo, meaning we are going to drop down into that lunge Again, front knee is tracking over our toes. That rear leg is gonna drop down, hovering just over the floor here, if this is comfortable for you. Um, hands, I like to keep my hands out in front of me with my movement up, uh, just as if I was running. 
uh, to keep that motion uh, going. So a plyo lunge is dropping down into that lunge position, exploding up and softly landing with that switch stance now. So your right leg will be at front and your left leg will be extended all the way back here. So this is our plyo lunge for 40 seconds here. That's going to be 40 seconds of work. If that jump is too much for you here, let's go ahead and take, let's go ahead and scale back this movement. And I want you to go into a static lunge with a pause. So same great, nice and extended stance here. Your front leg is gonna be forward. Remember that knee is gonna be tracking just at your toe here. You want that 90 degree bend at your forward leg here. Go ahead and drop down into that static lunge. Hold for one second and extend back up. Down, hold, send back up. So that pause is gonna give us a little bit more time under tension. We're gonna work for 20 seconds here and then we'll go ahead and alternate to the right leg. Okay, that's the static lunge with the pause or if you wanna get that heart rate elevated just a little bit higher, let's go ahead and go into those plyo lunges. Now I'll go, I'll, I'll go uh, eat one round, I will do plyo lunges, one round static, plyo static, plyo static. Uh, second exercise is going to be a half kneeling shoulder press. So if we have any resistance uh, available to us, I have a few dumbbells here. If you have any dumbbells, if you have any plates, if you have anything with a handle, go ahead and grab that. We are going to jump into, and I know we've done this before team, let's go into that half kneeling stance. All right, my left leg is up, my right knee is down. We're going to grab that resistance. We're going to go ahead and rack that up on our shoulders here for 20 seconds of a shoulder press single arm. We're going to keep that chest proud, that flat back, and we are going to extend that weight overhead to where your bicep is next to your ear here. That's the goal right there. So 90 degree bend here at the bottom position. This is going to be our start. That's the finish. Start here, finish here, and repeat. 20 seconds on your um, right arm up, left leg down, and then we will alternate for that next 20 seconds to finish out 40 seconds of work with that half kneeling shoulder press. All right, uh, exercise number three, we're jumping into, I really like this one here. So it's, this is gonna be a single leg and single arm row. So it's forcing us to balance and control on one leg by, by um, balancing on one leg here, lifting up that rear leg, so my left leg is down, my right leg is up. You want a nice flat back here, head is gonna be in a neutral position. So that means it's gonna be in line with your spine. Spinal alignment is key here for any type of hinge movement that you're making uh, through a movement. Okay, just a, soft, um, just a soft hinge at the hips there. Your weight is going to be in the opposite uh, arm as your leg. And then we want to just row up Nice and controlled with that, light, with that leg in the back, nice and straight. We're gonna be here for 20 seconds and you're gonna feel that lower, that, that foot that's grounded. You're gonna feel a lot of that burn here on your glutes, your hamstrings and your quads for stabilization, for balancing. So uh, that's gonna be a good bonus here for just a balanced leg with that arm. So we're, we're not only are we attacking those, those, uh, that lower body, we're also attacking our back and our lats here. So our mid to lower uh, back. That's gonna be exercise number three. And then exercise number four, we are on the deck here. We drop down into those shoulder taps. So you're in that high plank position here. Again, your hands are gonna be directly underneath your shoulders. And for your foot placement, you want them shoulder width apart. Now, a, a side note here, the wider you go on your foot placement, the more uh, stability you will have, the more balance you will have uh, in this high plank position. Now, what we want to do is we want to grab that right arm, that right hand, and touch our left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder, and a, cue, a couple of cues here. We want to make sure that we have minimal sway in our hips. So we want to make sure that we're not dipping, and we also want to make sure that our flat, our fat, <laughs> our back is flat, and nice and long here. So with that head in a neutral position, it's gonna be in line with our spine and our spine is gonna be aligned down to our tailbone and down to our heels while we alternate left hand taps, 
right hand tap onto those shoulders. That's gonna round out our core movement for the, uh, for the round. And again, we're gonna have four rounds. Those are the four demos that, uh, that the four exercises that we're gonna tackle today. So again, if you're just joining us, welcome to BeFit Live. We have four exercises that I just went through that we are gonna tackle for today to, let, to round out our last Monday workout for the year. So uh, four exercises, timing is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round. Hope that sounds nice and strong to you all. I know we are more than capable of having a great workout today. So grab your waters, grab your towels, towel off. Get, let's get ready to go here with some dynamic stretching. Mm. Again, let me know where you're watching from. It's always nice to see, drop a comment, leave some positive comments uh, below, below this live feed. Um, you know, let us know what you're looking forward to the most next year, as far as your health and wellness, what you're trying to do. If you've thought about those goals, I know I kind of reminded you last week and the week before to start thinking about some goals for the new year. So let me know what some of those new goals are. And together, we can try and tackle those here on our BFit Live channel. So let's jump into some dynamic stretching. Let's get dynamic here. We're gonna work on warming that body up as well as stretching out some of those muscle groups, um, different muscle groups at the same time with some of these dynamic stretches. So let's go into a dynamic quad stretch to get our minds and our bodies ready. We're gonna perform each of these for about 30 seconds and then uh, we will go into the workout. So dynamic quad stretch, my left leg is going to come back my right arm is going to extend all the way up as high as it can go here. We're working this for, and then go ahead and alternate left leg back, right arm is all the way up, extending all the way up here. Let's go at your own pace here. Go ahead and alternate left leg, right leg, left arm, right arm as you need. Now's a great time to start focusing on your body, your balance. You're breathing, engaging that core for stability. All right, you should push those hips forward and feel that stretch in your hip flexors and your psoas region right here. Your arm raising nice and tall, extending a little bit further than the last. Get some blood flow moving into those shoulders. All right, good, 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 good. Let's go into a reverse lunge with the reach. I'm gonna go to the top of my mat, if you will. I'm gonna extend my right leg back, drop down into that reverse lunge, clasp my hands together, reach all the way up and reach over to the lead leg side. Back up top to starting position. Left leg goes back, arms go up, reaching over to the side, that reach, you should feel that nice long stretch in your lats while getting some blood flow into that left I'm sorry, into those glutes, those quads, those hamstrings, okay? And again, all of these movements should be performed to the best of your ability, but at your comfort, at your comfort level. If you feel like something is straining too much, go ahead and lighten, lighten the load. Go ahead and reduce the weight that you are lifting, reduce the amount of, <laughs> the amount of movement that you're performing. So if this lunge is too far, you know, to drop that to hover that over that over that floor, go ahead and just come back here to a taller stance. That's perfectly fine. Again, all these movements to our comfort level. <laughs> all right, team. Let's go ahead and go into some alternating lateral lunges here. We're just going to shift our weight here with a nice strong and wide stance. Feet are going to be facing forward here and we're shifting that weight laterally to the left and to the right here. Again, you always want your feet to be in a straight line here with these lunges. Any type of lateral movements here, make sure and keep an eye out on where your feet are falling. Try not to, you know, be too far forward with one foot or too far back. Most of these movements should have straight feet. I'm just gonna warm up the legs here. Feel that stretch within the inner thigh. Always shift our weight left and right. 
All right, now noticing that my hips are a little bit tight here. I'm sure all of us are. We may have been seated for a little bit longer than we're used to. Let's go into some hip circles here. Right leg back, right leg forward, left leg back. Left leg forward. We're gonna make nice large circles with those hips here. The idea is our goal rather is to get those hips nice and warm here. That way they are ready to work. That way our body is primed and ready to work for the next 25, 30 minutes. Good. All right, let's go into some body weight squats here. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. Knees are gonna be tracking over the toes. Nice proud chest here. Hands are nice and forward here. You can hold them out in front of you, drop down. And we are just warming up, again, some lower body movements here that we're about to tackle. We're just lower, warming up that body, getting the heart rate elevated, targeting specific muscle groups that we're going to be working. Good, make sure and sit back in that imaginary chair. The hips go back first as if they're pushing back towards a wall. Knees are tracking over toes, back is flat. Good, 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 good. Keep it up, two, one. All right, let's go into some arm circles here. We have some shoulder work here that we are about to perform. Warming up those shoulders for that overhead press and that row. We make sure our shoulders have great mobility. They're warmed up. Medium sized circles here. Let's reverse. Let's go backwards here. All right, y'all are looking good. I can tell. I know y'all have come to crush this workout. Last workout of the year for us. All right, arm circles are good. Let's go into some YTWs just to warm up that mid to upper back and some more shoulder work. Let's make a big Y, start with that nice strong stance here. Hands are together here, making that large Y, nice and tall, back to center, making that T with the arms. Good, back to center. And let's perform with that last W. Good, back to center, back to the Y. Nice strong stance. You should feel those traps getting warmed up. Good, mid to upper back. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. That W, last one, Y. Good, back into that T. Last one into that W, show off those biceps. Good, all right team, let's go ahead and grab some water, towel off, get your space ready, get your mind ready, and we will jump into that plyo lunge or static lunge with a pause. Mm. Things are warming up now already <laughs> here in Dallas, Texas. If you're working out outside, let us know, send us a pic. I hope it's not in snow. <laughs> All right, team, we can get this timer started. Catch our breath here. All right, first, Exercise plyo lunge or your static lunge with a pause. We're starting that in 10. Again, four rounds, 40 minutes of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, one minute rest in between each round. Plyo lunges in three, two, one. All right, team, let's go. Let's be gentle about this movement here. We want to absorb that jump. Try and loft softly here, try and land softly. Use those arms as momentum to carry up to the movement. We are 20 seconds in, keep going with that. If you're on that static lunge with the pause, go ahead and drop down in that pause position or lunge position, pause, alternate to top. Eight seconds left, good. Last five, four, three, two, one. And time, 20 seconds of rest here. Go ahead and turn this down a bit. I don't think you want a lot of beeping. All right, we're jumping into that half kneeling shoulder press. Go ahead and grab that resistance that you may have. Half knee, my left leg is up, my right leg is down. We are performing a shoulder press in two, one, time. All right, team, let's make sure that chest is nice and tall, nice and proud. 
Again, that uh, front leg should be at a 90 degree bend. Same with our arm here. Five more seconds and we're gonna alternate leg up and arm press up. 20 seconds, here we go. Let's go ahead and alternate really quickly. My right leg is up, my left leg is down. I am pressing overhead with my left arm here. 10 more seconds to go. Again, first round we learn it. Second round, we own it. So we will challenge ourselves even more. Two, one, time. Should feel a lot of shoulder activation with that one. Keep that resistance in hand. We are jumping into that single arm row. Again, single arm row is gonna be one foot down, one foot back. And we are rowing here, keeping that arm out in three, two, one. Left leg is down, right leg is back. All right, focus on something. One spot here, all about control here, all about stability. Just feel that ankle working. All right, that, those legs really firing up here with that glute. 20 seconds in, let's go ahead and alternate. Right leg down, left leg is back. Right arm is out for counterbalance and my left arm is rowing here. It's almost like an airplane here. Trying to keep that rear leg from crossing over your, your uh, center plane. All right, we're done in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds out. <laughs> Flew by. All right, we are down on the ground for the fourth exercise of the round. Shoulder taps. We're in that high plank position, starting off in five, four, three, two. Can you see me, team? <laughs> All right, keep me accountable as well. All right, your hands are under your shoulders in that high plank position, keeping that core tight, keeping those hips down to a relatively straight line here from your neck all the way down to your heels. Good, take your time with this one. Slow and steady, keeping that core tight. All right, try not to sway those hips. 10 more seconds here. If we need to regress, let's go down into those knees. Continue with those shoulder taps for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. Good job, team. Woo. Good work. How are we doing? How are we doing? First round down. First round, we learned it. Second round, this is our chance to up any resistance that you may have used. Go ahead and grab just a little bit of a heavier dumbbell, a heavier weight. If it's a water, keep on going with that same resistance. That's perfectly fine. If you don't have any resistance, go ahead and make those strong fists and emphasize that squeeze at the top of the movement. 20 seconds of rest here. We'll jump into that plyo lunge or static lunge. Where are we watching from team? Let me know where you're joining from. <laughs> Y'all are looking good. 10 seconds left. Again, plyo lunge or static lunge in five, four, three, two, one. All right, team. Plyo lunge here. I'm gonna start off with the first 20 seconds worth of plyo lunge. And then the second 20, I'll go into that static lunge with a pause. Do what you can here to your comfort level. Five more seconds at that plyo lunge, exploding up. Good, top of the mat here. We go down into that static lunge with a pause. Good, again, that front leg should be tracking over that toe. That rear leg should be hovering just over the floor, dropping those hips down. Five more seconds, three, two, Last rep, good work, good work team. How are we doing, how are we doing? Good, 12 more seconds left and we'll jump into that half kneeling shoulder press. What's great about if you were doing those plyo lunges is now you can jump down into that half kneeling shoulder press, control that heart and heart rate and breath. We're working team, 40 seconds of work here. Control that heart rate, bring it down and work on some strength movements here. Isolating that shoulder for that overhead press. Three, one more second here. Now we're all tightening. My right leg is up, my left leg is down. Weight is in my left hand. 
when we are overhead pressing, performing that overhead press. Two more seconds here. Good. Controlled movements is always the best if you're focused on form. Two, one, actually, <laughs> controlled movements, uh, form over quality over quantity, anytime. <laughs> All right, ten, 10 more seconds of rest here. We're jumping into that single leg row. All right, team, five more seconds here. My left leg is down, my right leg is back. Arm is out to the side in two, one. All right, let's go team. Again, working on stability here with that leg down. 20 seconds and then we'll alternate hands and legs. Hand and leg. <laughs> ah, I can feel that holiday food that I had over the week alternating here. Really getting put to use here. I was carb loading and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> uh, eight more seconds, team. Good, keep rolling. At that top of the row, make sure and throw in that little squeeze at the top, drawing that shoulder blade back for two. One more second and pause, or time, actually. No pause, no pause. 15 seconds of rest here, and we're jumping into shoulder taps. All right, team, let me bring this down just a little bit. All right, we're up in two, one nice wide stance with those feet, hands underneath our shoulders, and we're tapping, tapping those shoulders here. Again, scaled back down onto your feet or onto your knees rather, keeping that core tight, okay? Keeping that core tight, that's the idea here. Focus on your breathing. You might need to hold your breath when you bring that hand up to your shoulder, 15 seconds left. Good. 10 more seconds. Keep holding. Keep pushing. Last five. Stay with me. Three, two, one. Last rep and time. Good job, team. Good job. Two rounds down. Let me know how you're doing, team. All right. All right. Good, good. Y'all are looking good. All right, which one's the toughest so far? Is it the plyo lunge or the static lunge? Is it the half kneeling shoulder press? Is it the shoulder taps? With that core stability? Let me know. 20 more seconds of rest here. And we're jumping back in with those plyo lunges. I'd have to say it's, I have to say, it's really nice being able to share these movements with you all for the past few months. I know I've seen so many improvements across the board, so it's really nice to see back into those plow lunges in five, four, three, two. All right, team, let's work. Again, we're working on exploding up through that heel, through that toe from the back. Nice soft landing using those hands as some momentum. Three, two, one. All right, I'm dropping into that static lunge with the pause. One, good. Driving up through that front heel. Two, good. 10 more seconds of work here. You can feel how just adding a little bit of a pause to any movement at the contracting point adds a little bit more time under tension causing those muscle fibers to really work in holding that pause position. 15 seconds of rest here. And we're jumping into that half kneeling shoulder press. Grab that resistance. If you scaled up, you've come to work. I like it. If not, that's okay. Make that fist, drive that, drive that weight up. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. 20 seconds with one arm and then we will alternate. Good. Focus on that form. Driving that hand overhead, bicep by ear. All right, 20 seconds in, let's go ahead and alternate. Right leg is up, left leg is down, left arm is up. Hand, your opposite hand could be off to the side for counterbalance. I like keeping mine at my chest, just so I know that my chest is nice and tall, nice and proud. Three more seconds, two, one. And time, good work. Good work, guys. All right. 
Single leg, single arm, hold on to that resistance. All right, here we go, team. We are up in five. Right leg is down, left leg is up. Let's work, team. Now, scaled back version here. Go ahead and just place that toe on the floor. Same nice flat back here, head in a neutral position, looking straight ahead. Seven, five more seconds here, and we'll alternate. Squeeze down at the top. But that, all right, let's go ahead and alternate. That back toe just resting on the floor for a little bit more stability here if you need it. All right. Last six seconds here. Finish strong. Three. Squeezing at the top, bringing that shoulder blade together. Two, one, and time. Good job. Good work, team. Good work. Ah, uh, nice and warm here. Nice and warm. Let's go ahead and drop to the ground with that high plank shoulder tap. All right. We are up in three, two, one. All right, team. Let's work here. Again, the wider your foot stance is in a plank position or even a push-up position, the more stability you're gonna have versus feet together. It's gonna be a lot tougher, a lot more tough with the feet together here. So go ahead and shoulder width apart. If you need a little bit more, go ahead and extend those feet out a little bit wider. Again, I know y'all's hands are underneath your shoulders here. Nice and controlled movements here. No swaying of the hips. Head in a neutral position for three, two, one. Give me an extra rep. Good. <laughs> Good work, team. You've earned yourself a rest. One minute of rest to be exact. While I raise that up, grab some water, towel off, keep hydrated here with the cooler weather approaching us or here actually for a lot of us keep hydrated it's important to to drink a lot of water we want our body to function to the best of its ability setting our bodies up for success and with that it's proper hydration proper diet nutrition proper sleep make sure you're getting an ample amount of sleep here if you want your body to perform to the best of its ability all right plow lunges are up in 10. All right, team. Last and final set. Correction, last and final round, rather. So last round, best round, here we go. Two, one, let's work here. Plyo lunges. Again, we wanna absorb that weight, exploding off the heel. Try and get a little bit of air in between you and that plyo lunge. Static lunges are perfectly fine. Keep with those static lunges. All right, let me drop into my static lunge here for 20 more seconds. Good, remember that pause at the bottom. Dropping that knee down as low as you can to your comfort level, to your ability. If you need to hold on to something, hold on to that chair for balance, for stability. Good, three more seconds. Hold with the pause. Last rep. Time. Good work. Good work, team. 12 more seconds and we are dropping down onto that knee with a half kneeling shoulder press. It feels good to move. It feels good to get this body and blood flow and heart rate elevated. All right, team, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. We're working. My left, my left leg is up. All right, we're still working here, team. Good job. Stay with me. 20 seconds on the clock. We're gonna alternate. My right leg is up. My left arm is pressing overhead. 12 more seconds. 10 more seconds on the clock. Good. Five more seconds. Bicep should be beating the ear. Three, two, one, and time. All right, staying with that resistance. We are back on our feet. 10 seconds left to rest here. Catch that breath, shake it out here. All right. Single arm row in two, one, and we are back. Balancing with that squeeze at the top of the row here. 
Again, this is a target not only of our back, our lats, but a full posterior chain here. Three more seconds here, and then we're gonna alternate. Two, one, right leg is down, left leg is up. Full posterior chain here. So we got our glutes firing, our hamstrings should be firing and burning. 10 more seconds left here. Squeezing at the top, squeezing at the top here. Five more seconds, that dumbbell should be hitting just underneath that chest, two, one, and time. Again, last round, last round, best round team. Let's finish off strong with those shoulder taps. All right, team. Five more seconds coming up. Let's get down into position, high plank position. All right, team, let's make this the best one. Finish out the year strong. We're working here, 30, 40 seconds on the clock here. Again, hands are underneath your shoulders for the most support. Feet or shoulder width apart here. A little wider if you need. Drop down to your knees here. If we need to, scale back. Keeping those hips down. Keep the momentum. 10 more seconds, team. Keep going. Keep going. Eight more seconds on the clock. Last exercise for this workout. Three more seconds. Two, one, and time. <laughs> oh, wow. How do we do, team? How do we do? <sighs> Go ahead and grab that water. You've earned it. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me come to you over here. <laughs> As we catch our breath. I'd have to say that last round is always the best round. It's always that much closer to the end of this workout session. But it's also that much more gratifying as well, knowing that you push through. Gave it your all at that last and final round. Good job, team. Good job. Well, I know this is the last BeFit Live of the year, but have no fear because we will be back with you to kick off the new year. <laughs> I didn't write that, but <laughs> I'm excited here. You know, I know uh, this year has been challenging for a lot of us, but thank you to everyone who has stuck with us, who has joined us on our BeFit Live workouts. Please join us every step, by every rep, by every round, by every sweat. So thank you all so much. Y'all have all been so wonderful. I'm more excited though for the new year. And it's important guys, let's go ahead and remember, write down these goals this week. It's the last week of 2020. So write down your fitness, your health, wellness, and beyond goals. You know, what? it could be any type of goal, but it's more important that we write down those goals. Make sure they're uh, make sure they're smart goals. Make sure that they're, you know, they're attainable. Uh, make sure that they are achievable. Make sure that they're realistic. But also make sure that you're able to accomplish them in a timely matter, manner. Um, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, yearly, an annual goal. You know, break it down into that much of a, a dissective goal. And, and each month, each week, go ahead and look at those daily and then check off those goals off of your list. I have a few goals that I'm setting next year as well. So I will be hard at work writing down those goals to kick off the new year. It is never, uh, there's, there's never a, uh, a bad or poor time to start writing down our goals. So 2021, we will be here next week. I will be here joining you along with my uh, guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. I know she um, will be with me as well next week. So um, with that, guys, uh, let me know again, uh, what was your favorite part of this workout? Let me know what, how has our BeFit Live program and our workouts uh, treated you so far? I hope you have been improving week by week. Just remember, I'm always here. Uh, leave a note in the comments below if you have any questions on technique, on form, on any of your goals. Uh, leave them here. Uh, words of encouragement, not only for uh, myself, because I always love 
uh, at reading them and, and enjoy looking at them. But also for everyone else, we are one team. Uh, we're, in, we're in this for one fight and we are one community, guys. So again, thank you so much for joining our BFIT live programs. And um, I will see you next week for a fresh new year and uh, we can build on what we've already accomplished this year. And we'll tackle this new year with more strength, step by step, rep by rep, rep by rep, and workout by workout, guys. All right, Roy here signing off for our BFIT Live. Bye, guys.